Not all ranges look the same, but all of them feature a stovetop and oven which operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how an electric range operates, as well as potential problems you may encounter. Electric stovetops have two common styles of heating elements. The first is a conventional coil. The second is a radiant coil. Each element is controlled by its own switch. The stovetop operates by using 240 volts of alternating current through two legs of voltage, each carrying 120 volts. When the selector knob is turned to a heat setting, the switch allows the first leg of voltage to travel to one side of the heating element and the second leg of voltage to travel to the opposite side. When the voltage reaches the heating element, the circuit is closed and the element begins to heat. The switch regulates the heating element. When the element reaches the designated temperature, the switch shuts off the voltage. This cycle repeats throughout the cooking process to maintain the proper temperature. Keep in mind that a radiant coil has a built-in limiter that monitors the stovetop surface temperature. This can cause the heating element to cycle on and off more frequently than a conventional coil element. Common problems that occur with an electric stovetop include one or more of the elements not heating, heating intermittently, or overheating. If one of the elements is not heating, you should test the part for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. If the element has continuity, it's likely that the switch is defective and will need to be replaced. If none of the elements are heating, there is a high probability the appliance is not receiving sufficient voltage. To help determine this, you can test the electrical outlet using a voltage meter set to volts AC. Be aware that readings can vary between 210 and 240 volts. If the element is operating intermittently, check for damage or corrosion where the element terminals connect with the receptacle. An element overheating is an indication that the switch is probably defective and requires replacement. An electric oven consists of three basic components, the bake element, the broil element, and the oven control. The oven control may be switch-based with a thermostat and sensing bulb assembly, or an electronic control board that works with an oven sensor. The oven also operates using 240 volts of alternating current through two legs of voltage, each carrying 120 volts. The first leg of voltage is usually regulated by the oven control. The second leg of voltage may also be regulated by the control or it may be continuously present at one side of both the bake and broil elements. When you select the bake or broil function, the oven control allows either the first leg of voltage or both legs to travel to the element, closing the circuit and causing the element to heat. The sensing bulb on the thermostat or the oven sensor monitors the oven temperature. When the selected temperature is reached, the oven control shuts off the voltage to the element. This cycle repeats throughout the cooking process to maintain the proper temperature. Keep in mind, the cooking temperature designated by the control is only an average. The actual temperature will fluctuate throughout the cycle. Convection ovens will reduce this fluctuation by using a motorized fan with or without its own heating element to circulate the heated air evenly throughout the oven cavity. A common problem that can occur is a heating element will fail and begin arcing. If this happens, you should shut off the power immediately and do not use the oven until the element has been replaced. If either the bake or broil element is not heating, you should test the element for continuity to determine if a continuous electrical path is present. If the oven doesn't bake or broil, the appliance may not be receiving sufficient voltage. Again, you can test the electrical outlet using a voltage meter set to volts AC. If the oven is heating improperly or the temperature is off by more than 40 degrees Fahrenheit once preheated, the oven control is probably defective. If your oven has a switch-based control with a thermostat and sensing bulb, the entire assembly will need to be replaced. 
If your oven has an electronic control, the oven sensor can be tested to determine whether the sensor or the control board is the source of the problem. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your range. Enter the appliance's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.